Hi everybody. So, um, I have, um, so it's, I've been doing okay. I mean, I've, I've taken a few days off of work. So, well, a couple of days, not a few days, um, off of work. So that's cool. Um, my toilet is overflowing so we need to buy a new one so that's cool too and it's gonna cost seven hundred dollars but luckily my mom paid for it so but i pay her so i mean like yeah i have this thing going my mom like i have to pay her three hundred dollars every every month like it's like rent she's just like you know what you're staying here why not and it's like Okay, you know what? That makes sense for me to help out with that, with the house. Anyway, that's not what I came here here to talk about. I've been reading this book. It's called Washington Spies. I thought it would kind of be okay, kind of be a nice book to read, but it's, it's kind of boring. Um, so like I returned it to the library. Um, what's funny, what I read about the book, it was, it was talking about Nathan Hale and how he was a, he was a spy for um, Washington, um, and he got captured, I um, mean, and it's funny how he got captured too, it was about, um, he kind of got a little full of himself in the the rebellion basically and he outed himself he posed as a teacher from or something i don't know and um and he out he basically outed himself out to someone who a a, a british spy or i think he or a soldier who was in disguise and he would, and they were, they were basically like, you know what, I'm fed up with the British too. And it's, and he was just, and he was like, well, you know, there's a rebellion going on and Washington's doing everything. And so, and so then he basically out of himself and that's how he died. And what I remember, what I, um, what I, when I was in school, I would always say, Wait, and before that, um, so he was, te technically he was the one who said, give me liberty or give me death right before he died. But, I mean, he didn't actually say that. I forget who wrote the play. I found out that, like, he didn't actually write, he didn't actually say that. Obviously, it, some was, that was, it was dramatized in a play. And it makes sense, because a lot of, a lot of, history is dramatized in plays um i mean did the crucible actually actually happen like arthur miller said it happened salem did the salem with charles actually happen like that i don't know mark anthony and cleopatra did it actually happen like that I, even though i've never seen that movie before but actually i haven't even read shakespeare's version of it either but i don't know if it actually happened like that um, so, um, I mean, um, so, so, yeah, I, I, like, when I was in school, I would always be like, guys, I, uh, I would always tell my, my I would always tell my teachers, um, wasn't the guy who said, give me liberty, give me death, and at this time, obviously, we didn't, apparently, People weren't real. I wasn't aware and other people weren't aware that give me liberty, give me death was not a real thing that was said. But, um, I, I was always in school. I was always like in grade school. I was like, I was like, guys, wasn't it Nathan Hale who said, give me liberty, give me death. And my teachers, my Particularly, my history teacher would always be like, "No, it was Patrick Henry." I'm like, "No, I'm pretty sure it was Nathan Hale." They're like, "No, it's Patrick Henry." It's like, cause you know what? And this and I've gone through a series of tiffs with my teachers like this. It's 
um, one time I went to a school in Boston for a year and when I was in sixth grade I went I went to a year and then I went back to the Milton Public Schools because that 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 school was terrible it was a new school it was, it was a charter school you know that's a different story for a different and he and again like I said People love exaggerating history. You know what people say that Marie Antoinette said, let them eat cake? Yeah. Didn't know that wasn't a thing until I got, I kind of started getting out of, started, when I started getting into, um, call it and like, oh yeah, that's, um, this, one of my math teachers I don't know why he was talking about Marie Antoinette, but he was talking about Marie Antoinette and he was saying, oh, this queen said, let them eat cake. And, and, and this queen called Mary, Marie Antoinette in France said, let them eat cake. And then one of, one of the students asked, so what happened to her next? And he was just like, I don't know. And I was like, they cut off her head. And he was just like, no, they didn't. I'm like, yes, they did. And he's like, no, they didn't. I'm just like, Oh, then I must be thinking of someone else. And like I generally thought I was thinking about I was thinking of someone else, but it's like it's like so like it's common knowledge that Marie Antoinette got beat was be a queen that was beheaded. Like I'm pr I'm pretty sure everyone knows that, and it's just like. I and I legitimately thought maybe it maybe I'm wrong because the teacher is a teacher. I mean, you're not. He's not even. A, he wasn't even a history teacher, but he was. He was a teacher, so it's just like, don't you shouldn't argue with the teacher, right? Because they're they're the adults. They and they're the teacher, so they they obviously know more. Like, but you're a history teacher, and you're human. So you don't know everything. And maybe he maybe he, he told he said that just so he wouldn't scare the class, I guess. But it's just like these kids didn't really care about Marie Antoinette, so it's just like just tell them that she got beheaded. And so it was just like, oh so you don't wanna tell anyone. Okay. So I was just like, okay, fine. Um, so the next year I was back in hist, I was back in middle school with my history, um, in, in a history class and we were talking about Marquis de Lafayette and I was just, I was just like, I was, I just asked the question because I've learned about, I've known about Marquis, Marquis de Lafayette since I was in elementary school, obviously. I mean, he's French, and obviously, I was I was in the French immersion when I was in elementary school from first to fifth grade. So, I was so obviously he was probably a, he was like, oh guys, did you know that we're speaking French, and French was Marquis de Lafayette, who was in the American Revolution. So he's a key figure in American history. So yeah, so. I mean, yeah, so, so I knew about him for a long time. So I asked the question, what is his name? What is Marquis de La like, is Marquis de Lafayette his actual name? And they were like, no. And my seventh grade teacher was like, no. But, and so I asked the question, so then what's his real name? And she, she was just like, well, our history books never mention his, his real name so no one knows and like so no one asked him wh no one asked him what his real name was throughout that whole war people just called him marquis throughout that whole war marquis or marquis de lafayette or just lafayette no one called him that Every, every, no one called him by his name. So, 
what did I do? I was just like, okay, fine. But, you know, a few years later, I was just like, you know what? I still never got an idea. Uh, uh, and, th and so then I thought to myself, you know what? That was not. A few years later, I'm just like, you know what? I'm thinking back and I'm like, that was not a good answer. Everyone has a name. I should just find out. It, or if they if they were never born with a name, they would give themselves a name. Or they would change their own name just to make themselves feel good. So I went online. www.wikipedia.com His name is... It, it was real long. I mean, you know how those royals have those real long names. Basically, it was Gilbert. It was Gilbert, probably, if you want to give it a French accent. I've actually, I've, I've never heard how you say it in French, but um, but they don't, really don't say the T at the end of a of of, of a word, so that they just say Gilbert. So, and it's just like he named it. He named it, and it's funny because he named he named his sons. He named one of his sons George Washington. So, aw, that's a bromance between George Washington and Keith Lafayette. Um, and so I was just like, wow. So, was I a little bit smart about teachers? I mean, that that kind of sounds a little full of yourself when, when you say, oh, I'm smarter than my teachers. It's like, I knew a little more about stuff than my teachers like cuz I cuz there there's some things in history where it's just like people sometimes you need to ask the question for someone to under, you know what that's sometimes you need to, um you need to have someone to ask the question for them to be like, oh, you know what? That is a, to be like, you know what? That's a good question. I don't know why I've never asked that question before. And since I asked that, I, I guess because in American history, at, when, when you talk about Marquis de Lafayette, everyone knows what you're, who you're talking about. And so he didn't really need a name. Mark and I didn't know Marquis was a title in the people until someone was just like Marquis de Lafayette's not his real name, and so I was just like then what's his real name? And it's just like no one really needs to know his real name, and no one um, in history classes people didn't really in the history test people we didn't really know his name because he was the Marquis de Lafayette in France. So that was that was basically all. Because that was his royal title. And there are no marquees in in North America. So we all know who you're talking about. But um, yeah. it's that, a, that That's one of the reasons why I like to become a historian. It's just like so many. Like I said before. Like the Nathan Hale thing. Where he didn't actually say give me liberty or give me death. And like the Marie Antoinette saying, "Let them eat cake," because like when you when you think about it, it's just like why would you say let them eat cake in the first place when they're already pissed when the the French ma the French peasants are already pissed off at you, and then you just say let um like it, it was a response to like the people are starving. What do you what do you want them to do? And, and then you just then she said, "Let them eat cake." Then it's like. That's a stupid move to say when they're they're all they're all angry at you. They want to piss you up. They're pissing them off by doing all this stuff, and then you piss them off even more by saying let them be kicked. No wonder they cut off your head. And then it's like, but like um, aside from that, that's that's one of the reasons why I think history is just so interesting because like all this. A lot of dramatization can make can change the way we look at act real real life history, and it's like the dramatization of history is in itself history because we like to know 
we would probably want to know where did the, the dramatization of this stuff originate. And um, I think I just think it's cool. And um, yeah, that's all. I, that's all I have to say. Um, this really didn't have a theme, I guess. I don't. I, a, a lot of my 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 videos don't even have really a theme. It's just I feel like it's just me. Getting stuff off of my chest. And that's what I like about YouTube. I get to get stuff off my chest. I'm talking to people. Yet I'm not talking to people. So yeah, I'm just talking to a screen. But I'm talking to people at the same time. So yeah. That's that's my that's my two cents for today. Maybe I'll make another video because I have a lot of things to say about stuff. But maybe make another video today. I don't know. But yeah, that's everything. Peace. Bye.